please, God, don't let it be Father O'Brien. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I confess to Almighty God and to you, Father. When was your last confession, girl? Um, two days ago, Father. And what is it you wish to confess, child? Well, I, I fell in love, Father. Oh, I see. But I don't think falling in love is a sin. Yeah, I know. But that's not all. Oh, well then, perhaps you should tell me what's really troubling you, child. I, I first saw Bobby at Burger Boy. I, I was standing in line waiting for my ground chuck, no tomato, extra mayo, and a medium Coke. He ordered two jumbo chucks, uh, a large, large fries, and uh, chocolate chip. Two jumbo chucks, large fry. <laughs> Chocolate shake? Would you like anything else, sir? Uh, no, thanks. He didn't seem like the other boys, Father. He was different. And he reminded me a lot of my dad. I saw Bobby a couple of days later as I passed the McDougal's next to my house. I think he was eating a thick mick and a vanilla shake. He saw me looking at him and he smiled. It made me hungry, so I hurried home for dinner. I finally met him the next day, Father, when I saw him at the Arby's on Clark Street, where I really liked the delicious homemade apple pie. May I help you? Yes, please. I'd like an Arby Q, a triple thick cherry shake, and a delicious homemade apple pie. Arby Q, cherry shake, cherry pie! No, 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 you made a mistake. You see, uh, she ordered an RPQ, a cherry shake, and an apple pie. Not a cherry pie, an apple pie. There's a difference between an apple and a cherry pie. Spike the cherry pie, make it an apple. Two bucks, please. Thank you. You see, it's, it's real easy to make a mistake. Thank here. heaven Bobby spoke up. I don't like their cherry pie, but I didn't want to cause trouble for the nice counter lady. But it's real good food. Thank you very much. You know what you want? You want some of the horse sauce. Horse sauce is what they're known for. You gotta just put it on, kind of, kind of just put it on, you know, just put it on as much as you want. It's real good. It fries in it. You wanna sit with me? I got a real nice table. It's got an ashtray, napkins. I was afraid, but he seemed nice. What are you doing Saturday? Nothing. Uh, you want to do something? Okay. You do? What do you want to do? Do you know what Tasty Lick is? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I could meet you there Saturday at noon, if that's okay. Sure. I know I shouldn't have been so forward, Father, having Bobby meet me at the Tasty Lick and all. But the Lord helps those who help themselves. At least that's what Mom always says. $2, Bobby must have been real hungry that Saturday, because he had two banana boats. I really wanted one, too, but I didn't have enough money for three. Sometimes Bobby said things that really mixed me up. Can I have this cherry? No. But then I'd find out later that he was just kidding. Yeah, you can have some. Silly. I loved the way he joked with me. I loved everything about him. He was special, just like my dad. We saw A Star is Born seven times, Father. What a great movie. And Bobby was right. That movie house did have the best popcorn in town. Chris Christopherson reminds me a lot of Bobby. What else did we do? 
We did the same things other couples do. <laughs> but one day in the j -Mart, I fell in love. Oh, I know Bobby liked me a lot, too, but he didn't say anything. He didn't have to. It showed in everything he did. I think I must have been acting funny, and that started Mom wondering about my fella. I know Dad was wondering, too. Boy, Mom sure would be surprised when she met Bobby. I wanted to wait a little longer, Father, but Mom said it was time to bring Bobby home. I could tell Bobby was excited. Mom, Dad, this is the Bobby I was telling you about. It's so good to see you. All things are possible to them who love the Lord. Nice place. Dad? Dad? This is Bobby. Mission accomplished. Be thou made whole. I wanted Mom and Dad to get to know Bobby, so I took care of dinner while they talked. Jesus will come through. Put your hands on the TV. Put your hands on the TV. Now I say, heal! Heal in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Heal! Sure smells good in the kitchen. Heal in the name of the Lord. Maybe you're not For I was hungry, and he gave me food. God will set you free. Put your hand on the TV. Say, oh God, I'm lost. Play yeah, I'm me. hungry Lift too. For I was thirsty, and he gave me drink. And I believe that his blood washes away all of my sins. His blood washes away the Antichrist in me. Say, come on in, Jesus. Come on in, ready. Well, I certainly am happy to be here with all of you beautiful people tonight. And you know why they're so beautiful, don't you? Why, of course you do. It's because each and every one of those beautiful... Maybe it was just the fried chicken, God, but I'd never been happier in my life. I knew Bobby felt the same way. The Later in the kitchen... Bobby really liked that chicken. <laughs> Boy, Bobby and Dad sure hit it off great, didn't they? They seem so much alike to me. No, not really. Bobby's an antichrist. Mm -hmm. You see the stain in the sink? That's just like Bobby. He has to be cleansed. It's time for Dad to get the cleanser. Dad? Dad? upset. I know I'm lucky to have a mom who cares, but I love Bobby. Even if he was the Antichrist. And besides, maybe mom was wrong. I know that's a sin, but I thought all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Even mom says that. Perhaps your mother was a bit harsh on Bobby but you mustn't harbor ill feelings, girl. And remember, there'll be plenty of other Bobbies, but you've only got one with her. Now, now to dry your tears, say, ten Hail Marys and ten Our Fathers, oh, and make a good act of contrition. All right, Father. And I...
please, God, don't let Mom find out about Phil.